All right, all right, all right. How's it going, everybody? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, baby. We are live. We are so live. Uh, if you like what you see here, if you like my artwork, if you absolutely think my artwork's pretty cool, you're going to love what I got to offer on eBay. Check out my work on my eBay store. There's going to be a link somewhere around here. Uh, either wherever, depends on where you're, where you're watching this, there's going to be a link below. Or if you don't see a link, please comment, let me know, and I'll send you the link to my store. Uh, that way you can check out my other works. You're going to you're going to absolutely love them if you like what you see here. I got all kinds of cool stuff available at auction and just different cool stuff. All right, so here we go. Let's get started with this. My name is Jose Trujillo, and I'm going to be doing a new painting here for you guys. I just finished doing this uh, painting on Facebook Live, and... I think it's really cool. I love doing paintings like this. They just, they really, it resonates with me. Um, what do you guys say? I do a close-up. Let me know if you guys want a close-up as opposed to to the painting being a, a little bit farther away. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see me mix so much here. Um, so if you want a close-up, let me know. That way you guys can see closer to the brushwork. Uh, that kind of tends to work a little bit better. On the, on the Facebook Live. But if you don't, it's totally cool. If you want a close-up, just put a little thumbs up and I'll do a close-up. All right, here we go. Let's move this painting and let's get started with this new one. By the way, this is 11 by 14 inches. It measures 11 by 14 inches. And uh, it's super thick, but... My name is Jose Trujillo. I am an artist. And closer, please. Absolutely. Lorraine, my pleasure. Let's do this. Uh, how's that? If that works, let me know. We're going to do a landscape painting here. We're going to do an, uh, uh, an impressionistic, almost expressionist landscape painter. Painting. <laughs> painter. Uh, yeah, I am the painter. Uh, and and uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see where this goes. So I'm going to start out by doing a drawing. And the drawing I'm going to start it, I'm going to start it with a charcoal piece right here, okay? You're welcome, Lorraine. My, my pleasure. I'm going to start doing the charcoal with, I mean, the drawing with the charcoal. It's a compressed charcoal. It's, uh, it's just this little cube-looking thing or square thing. And here we go. The, the drawing's going to be loose because I paint loose, and that's what I want to do. By the way, um, I love doing the loose drawing because it allows me to stay loose, right? It allows the painting to stay loose. And I know that some artists, I know that some artists have, uh, tend to have a little bit of a, a, a hard time with... with um, what size of the canvas? It's 11 by 14 inches. Stretch canvas, as you can see right here. It's really simple. It's just sign my name back there. Very simple canvas, nothing too, nothing too fancy. The fancy part is the painting. <laughs> so some people uh, have expressed to me that they have a hard time finding ideas to what to draw. You know, some people have expressed to me, they're like, man, like, like how do you come up with so many ideas? because I don't feel inspired or I run out of ideas. One of the things that I do is I have a bunch of sketches, right? That I use as my reference photos. I have a bunch, I mean, I have thousands of them, you know? Let me just show you one of them right here. I have thousands of sketches that I use as reference photos and some people, have been asking me, like, where'd you find them? How'd you come up with them? Well, they're just a result of years and years of painting. Remember, guys, I've been painting for over 20 years. And professionally, full-time, as a full, this is, this is my job, right? As a full-time artist, I've been doing it for the past almost eight years. So I've been doing it quite a bit. And what, does, what that has done for me, it's allowed me to put together a huge library of basically get all my sketchbooks and like lump them together and what i did is that i started separating them by theme you know so i have hundreds and hundreds of landscapes hundreds and hundreds of 
of figurative work. And, you know, hundreds and hundreds, you get the point, of, of still lives, uh, painting drawings of angels, animals, puppies, you name it, right? I have so many of them. And this is very cool. You're going to love this if you like doing this kind of deal. I'm making them available for other artists to use them. So my sketchbook, my personal sketchbook, is now available for other artists. Okay, I made it available. I separated them into groups of 50 because I think that that just makes more sense. So I separated my, my sketches uh, into groups of 50. I literally have thousands of them. And so I want to make sure that other artists don't run out of ideas, just like, like I didn't. In the beginning, I did. I didn't know what to do, right? But uh, as time went by, I started creating this huge, just like this huge library of ideas. And that allowed me, that gave me a, 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 an unfair advantage. I'm all about unfair advantages. Uh, that gave me an unfair advantage over many, many, many other artists. Where artists were like, oh my God, I don't know what to paint. I didn't have that problem. I was like, dude, I know what to paint. I just have so many, so many sketches, so many references, right? It, it, anywhere from portraits to animal paintings, cascades, uh, you know, natural um, plein air sketches, and on and on and on. I mean, you name it, right? I have thousands of them. So now I made them available. And if you'd like to start getting your hands on my sketches, by the way, you can use them and you can make your own paintings with them. Ryan says, love the compositions. Thank you so much, Ryan. I really appreciate that. Ryan has, uh, Ryan has some of my compositions, and, and I think that, that uh, I just, I'm just really happy that, that, that people are using them, and, and I, just, I, I think it's such a cool thing because that was one of my biggest challenges. My, one of my biggest challenges is what am I going to paint? What am I going to paint? I don't know what to paint, man. I'm, I'm confused. I have all these ideas, and all, but, I, but I don't know. I don't have a reference, right? I don't have a reference. So what I started doing was, man, when I want to paint a bird, all I got to do is just go into my, my, my box. I literally put them in, 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 in shoe boxes, guys, and I would just pull out a bird out of my, my, box of, my, my shoe box of birds. <laughs> that's, how, that's how many I have, you know? And, and, you know, as time went by, I started putting them into... Uh, I started recording them in, in files, right? I started taking photos and then scanning them. And, and so I have, I have groups of high resolution reference sketches available for you. you can, what can you use the sketches with? Well, you can use them for watercolors. You can use them for acrylics. You can use them for oil paintings. You can use them for even for charcoal drawings. I mean, I... This is a little known thing that many artists don't know about me. I sell tons of charcoal drawings because people love that. People love my charcoal studies. They just do. And I sell tons of them. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't say this to be like, sound like an idiot. Like, oh my God, I sell tons. But I do. You know, I don't know any other way to put it. And so if you don't have ideas, man, I don't have ideas as to what to draw or what to paint or, or what watercolors I want to do. I'm, I think I'm literally the only artist who's allowing other artists into my sketchbook. And you can basically use them, you know? I love that. Lorraine says that is so true. No, say, oh, <laughs> sorry, Jose. Yeah. Uh, always wondering what to paint is, uh, as I like variety. Yeah. Variety, really, and, and not just you, but your collectors too, right? Like, like your your collectors love variety. Uh, uh, after a while, they're gonna they're gonna get tired of the same painting over and over, right? You, even if you paint it beautiful, uh, unless you're doing, as I mentioned in other in other videos, uh, in marketing videos, unless you're doing the gallery circuit where new people are watching your work, new new people are constantly watching your work, then maybe you have the luxury of being. Uh, uh, chalk clothes, right? The, the sort of the same type of format and the same, uh, in a way, right? Not the same, but in a way, the same subject. And and then then you have the luxury for that. But if you are, if you're like me and the rest of us mortals, you're putting your work online in your Facebook page, on your Instagram, 
uh, on your Etsy account, you're putting your work there. Uh, not not the whole world necessarily is watching it, right? It's a, it's a core group of people that are you know, usually watching your work. And so variety matters so much, not just for you, but also for the collector. And so I'm making my, my, my drawings, uh, my reference drawings, my reference sketches available for other artists. If you guys are interested, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll send you uh, the link. Just DM me or put in the comments below, hey, I want those sketches. Let me let me get a hold of them. I have them in groups of 50 and I'm releasing new ones. I'm going to be releasing new ones uh, just about daily. So it's really cool. Uh, tonight we're I'm releasing the the figurative and and the still lives. I had released a couple of them, but I'm releasing uh, the groups of 50. So if if you want to just get started now, I'll send you the link to the 50 uh, landscapes which I released. I already released them. People are already using. Uh, and you know you can get creative with them you don't have to copy them or you can if you want to like it doesn't matter they're for you to use right uh, or you can get creative with them what I like to do is I like to get a general idea and then start getting creative and you're gonna start doing that you're gonna start finding out uh, what works for you and what doesn't what makes you feel right what you know you're gonna start finding out what how to use them to your advantage one of the things that I found out about sketches uh, reference sketches is that they don't just work for one painting. You start getting clever with them. You start using them and you start making many different paintings from a single sketch. You know, all of a sudden, if your sketch looks like this, you can start moving stuff, right? By the way, all my sketches have composition in them. So they're already, they're already composed. So I'm not talking about just sharing with you guys cute little drawings or cute little doodles that I did just for fun. No, they are, the composition is already in them, okay? The composition is already in them. So it's not, it's not just like me sitting there and, and having fun doodling stuff. There's already composition. By the way, those of you who haven't seen my, my, my video on composition, you're missing out. I put out there a free video on composition, okay? It's a free video. It's a free workshop I put on composition. If you want the link, I'll send you that as well. And uh, later on, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a more intense uh, composition workshop. But just to get you started, you know, to get to get you. I don't want you to pay something to get started, right? To get you started, you can start there. Uh, the, the the sketches are 49 bucks for 50 of them. It's really it's really nothing, guys, in comparison to what they've they've done for me. What they've made me, what they've done for me, it's just, it's just really cool. Uh, having them available, it's been the most satisfying and gratifying thing for me. Because just having a library of ideas that you can use. I mean, we all run into that problem, you know. As an artist, I'm like, man, I want to paint something. And, and, and most people are like, yeah, I go, to, I go to, to Instagram and I start looking at our artwork. Yeah, I do, but you can't copy that work. You know, it's copyrighted. You can't copy that work or you can't use it, really. Unless unless you're like, I don't know, unless you really learn how to play with the idea of compositions, then maybe you can start making your own compositions out of it. But for most artists, that's a big problem. So I'm making my compositions available. You don't have to be looking uh, that much anymore. I mean, you can you can continue to look and get re-energized and, and, and get inspired with with other people's work, but you're going to have your own library essentially your own library if you want of sketches that you can use and and what better not only that they're proven right they're also proven not just proven in in the sense of yes they're proven um they're proven compositions but they're also proven to sell like like just think about this for a second guys I, i've been a full-time artist for the past eight years and uh just to give you an idea, my first year, I've made over six figures selling my artwork. So they're proven. They're proven to sell. They're not, they're not like, well, let's, you know, uh, I'm not promising you that you're going to sell just because of that. I'm just telling you that they're proven. Like, I, I've, I've made my living selling my artwork. So 
their, their, their composition is proven. People have loved the work that I produced from those paintings. I don't know if they're going to love the ones you produce, but, but I know they love the ones I produced. And, and I mean, you have, basically, you have my, my entire, if you want to, you have my entire sketchbook at your hands. I don't think any other artist alive has ever done that. And I, I like to do stuff like that, man. I like, to, I like to share the love. That's what I like to do. Let me read some of the comments here. Uh, Lorraine says, yes, please, Jose, send me the link. Absolutely, Lorraine. Uh, love those loose and freestyle uh, you paint. Advice for helping others paint in an expressionistic way, expressionistic style. Absolutely. I have over a thousand videos on painting this way and a bit more expressionist as well. Richard, how's it going, Richard? Richard says painting impressionistic style is another beast to learn. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a beast of its own. Absolutely. Uh, Ryan says love the composition video. Looking forward to more intense video. Absolutely. Uh, Impressionistic, expressionistic painting has a learning curve. Yeah, absolutely. I think just about everything has a has a you know has that that learning curve. And what I want to do is I want to make it I want to make it um, easier if that's if that's possible. I want to make it easier for artists. I know the challenges that it has. I've experienced that myself. I've been an artist for you know like I mentioned, I've been an artist for over twenty years, and. And I know the, the, the challenges that it comes. But what better thing to have than an artist next to you reminding you and showing you, you know, steps of how I'm doing this. Uh, the classes that, that I'm going to be doing also are going to be full, full uh, classes where you guys are going to see the full palette and what I'm doing, exactly how I'm mixing everything. Uh, one of my, I'm going to share with you guys right now one of my secret weapons is walnut oil for those of you who don't know this is one of my secret weapons guys walnut oil uh, i don't get paid for promoting this this brand if you guys know anyone in this brand i'm probably the artist who promotes them the most uh let them know what i'm doing <laughs> if you guys ever run into this guys uh i'm probably the only artist that is promoting that brand that brand every single f and day and I don't get anything from them. I don't even get oil. I get nothing from them. I just do it because I want to help other artists. Because I know how difficult it is to paint oils. I know the challenges that it, that it comes with. Uh, oils are, are just difficult to be pushing around, right? And, and usually when artists use mediums, they get so conflicted with mediums. But look, guys. When I discovered this brand, this oil, it's not, it's not cheap, by the way. But when I discovered it... I started using it for everything. I don't use any other medium. I just use that. I use that to brush, to wash my brushes. I use that to condition the canvas. Later on, I'm going to show you what that means. Uh, I use that to mix my paints, and I use that to soften my paints. I use that for everything. It's like a one thing cures all. And, and I'm just sharing it. I'm sharing the love here for free. <laughs> in hopes that you guys find some value and maybe like, maybe share the video if you find any value in this or if you're really interested in my composition uh, drawings and you want to have the composition sketches for yourself and use them, like use them, you know, you want to be able to use them. Uh, I want you to use them. I want you to come up with, with, with creations from them. You can use them for anything. You can use them for painting, for watercolor, for landscapes, for whatever. I mean, oils, acrylics, and just, you know, come up with different variations of paintings. And it's really, I mean, you're going to find out that it's really fun when, once you start coming up with different variations. And, uh, and this is one of the reasons why I love painting loose, because there is no wrong or right way. All you got to do is just keep painting. You just got to keep painting and you're going to start figuring out the different little kinks in there. Okay? I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, I hope that this video found you well. And I hope that it inspired you. This is really what I want. I want to inspire other artists. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, so you, can, so you guys can go and start, you know, kicking some butt. And if you're already kicking butt which I know most of you are, because otherwise you wouldn't be watching this. 
uh, kick some more butt, you know? Uh, we'd like the link to the compositions. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely, uh, Ryan. I'll send that to you. I'll send you the link. And thank you so much. I appreciate that, Lorraine. I'll send you the link as well. And you guys can go from there and uh, get the compositions. And Oh, by the way, if for any reason you don't find the compositions helpful, uh, guys, I'm not here to scam anybody, okay? If you guys don't find the compositions helpful, let me know and I'll return your money ASAP. I don't want to keep your money if you don't feel like they helped, okay? I, I, I'm not here for you guys to feel like, oh, I helped Jose. No, I'm trying to help you. And if you find that the compositions are not helpful, let me know. I'll give you a refund right away. No, no bullshit. I'll send the refund that moment as soon as you tell me. And, uh, and you can keep the drawings also, you know. I keep them just for, for, for whatever. Maybe you'll find a use to them some, some, sometime uh, in your life. But if you find that they're not helpful and that they, they just, they're, they're useless, let me know. I want to know that too because the compositions changed my career. They literally changed my career. Uh, I went from making a few paintings every now and then to making, you know, just dozens of paintings a week. You know, just boom, boom, boom. Why? Because I was able to have unlimited amount of ideas, right? I was able to have an, a library with unlimited amount of ideas. And so I released my first batch of 50. Tonight I'm releasing uh, figurative work and, and uh, still lifes. That's what I'm releasing tonight, figurative work and still lifes. Those of you who are interested in those, let me know as well. And there you guys have it. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist, and I hope that this inspired you. And if you want that link to the compositions, let me know. DM me, and I'll send you the link right away. And remember, everything is uh, absolutely guaranteed. I'm not, I, I can't run away. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to run away out of my studio, guys. You guys can always find me here. All right? Take care. Talk to you guys soon. Adios.